I haven't been this excited about tapes coming in the mail since the days of Columbia House. Damn, I'm old. Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the Toy Hacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple collars, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you robo sense that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bots in this video is Dr. Wu's DWP-51 Chatter, or War for Cybertron, Beast Box, and Squawk Talk. Now I got this set from Big Bad Toy Store, a pre-order that I totally forgot I'd ordered from months ago. I got an email early last week that it was being processed and I just got them today. So I'm very thankful for this surprise package that arrived in my mail. So quick look at the packaging. We've got Chatter right here in robot mode and some pretty good artwork with some outlines of Beast Box and Squawk Talk. Around the side, let's see, UPC code, back of the box shows the individual beast mode, Beast Box and Squawk Talk, and more artwork there on the side. So enough of me squawking and talking, let's get these beasts out of the box. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now, once you get Chatter all opened up and out of the packaging, you'll see that the set comes with two sheets of instructions. We've got one sheet that goes over the individual cassette bots and how to transform them. And then you have this secondary instruction sheet, which shows how to combine the two beasts into the one robot. You also get these really cool collector cards one for each beast bot, and then one for the combined form. And these are pretty cool. They're made out of thin plastic, and they got some texture to them. Of course, I can't read that. Oh, yeah, you can right there. Gorilla. There we go. So right there, you can pause that if you'd like. Now, here on the front, it says his name is Orang, like Orangutan. That's kind of lame. Should have went with Orangutron, maybe. So you got Orang, you've got Eagle, and you've got Chatter. But for the remainder of this video, because I'm old school G1, this is going to be called Beast Box, Squawk Talk, and Squawk Box. The set also comes with a weapon sprue that you have both weapons for both figures attached right there and then you've got both of the little cassettes we got one that looks like a cassette the other one is a rectangle so now let's take a closer look at chatter in his individual robot beast modes now first off let's take a look at beast box and squawk talks alt mode and beast box out of the two looks a lot more like a cassette squawk talk he's just a aqua green rectangle, but I like Beast Box here. He's got the two spindles right there. Of course, you turn him around, you got a robot face glaring at you. And of course, here is Beast Box with G1 Beast Box, so you can compare. This, of course, has a lot more details. 
and still it doesn't look bad i i like the look and the color scheme is spot on now squawk talk squawk talk he's got the right color scheme but just doesn't look like a cassette i mean he looks exactly like that he looks like the g1 if you turn him around but he's not disguising himself as a cassette right here now of course the big question with these two is will they fit in the chest of Siege or Netflix Soundwave. So let's go ahead and pop his chest open. We've got Squawk Talk, put that in. And yes, that is a really good fit. Went right in there. Sticks a little coming out, but up oh, there he went. So yeah, Squawk Talk fits in there good. And let's try Beast Box. Beast Box is a little tighter to get in, but still fits perfectly. And that actually looks really good. Now let's get these two transformed into their beast modes. And we're going to start off once again with beast box first. Let's see here. You just take the arms and unfold those from the top of the cassette. Take the head, rotate it around. And then these are the legs. You're going to bring these down like so. You can actually see the larger robot head right there. Let's see. We've got the gorilla feet. Let's see. Get these turned around just right. So you got the little gorilla feet and toes right there. You've got the gorilla arms and turn the gorilla head around. Real simple transformation. And there we go. There is Beast Box Gorilla Mode. And I like that. There's actually pretty good paint applications on this little gorilla, especially there in the face. Got a silver face with yellow eyes and... I believe those are painted nostrils. I can't really tell if it's paint or the way the light's catching it. It might just be the sculpting, but still, that looks really, really good. Now, of course, you've got the main uh, larger robot's face hanging off his butt, but hey, what are you going to do? Now we've got his weapons, and my God, these things are tiny, and they slot in, I believe the instructions say... It's right here along the back somewhere. I think they slot in right. There you go, right between the shoulder blades. So get those little blasters attached to his back. And there you have the modernized Beast Box. And we'll compare him to the Generation 1 Beast Box. So it looks pretty good. This one also has the robot face hanging off the butt, but you can't see it for the big blasters. But man, these blasters are tiny. You really got to watch out for those. Now, as far as articulation is concerned for this guy, the head is on a ball joint. I just knocked the weapon off. I'll go ahead and take those off for articulation. The head can look up and down. It can turn all the way around to complete 360. The arms can do a complete 360 as well. They're on a ball joint they can go in and out there is a elbow bend on both sides so he's double jointed the legs can go up and down actually they cannot the knees the knees bend but the legs the legs cannot the upper legs cannot move but there is a little knee bend right there so a really cool little figure so now let's take a look at squawk talk and to transform him you got these little slots right here that those that are pegged in. You got to get those pegs off like so. Simply spread the wings out. You're going to take the tail, flip it over, and right here are the little bird feet. Bring those down and around like so. And now you got the head right here. And that's kind of hard to get, at least for me it is. I just don't have the fingernails to get in there. Actually, right here, move the tail up out of the way. You've got the beak right there. Push that forward. Now you can get a hold of the tail. And there we have Squawk Talk in bird mode. And I like the paint applications right here. It does look like he has feathers. Lots of good molded detail as well. Got the little bird feet. So now let's get his weapons. 
And these, my God, these are even tinier than the others. And where do these go? Got a little notch right here. Let's see. Okay, I actually had to look at the instructions for that one. See the little notches right there behind the bird head? You've got to get these little blasters in there just right. I'm still not doing it. My gosh, these are hard to get a hold of. Okay, there's one. Make sure that little fin is pointed out. Let's get this other one. I'm so paranoid about losing one of these little blasters right now. I'll shoot off behind this desk. And I'll never see it again. Now, this one doesn't want to go in at all. Let's see, maybe move that out of the way. Okay, there we go. Now we have Squawk Talk with his two little blasters on his back. And now let's compare him to the Generation 1 Squawk Talk, which has much better sized blasters. Of course, G1 Squawk Talk really doesn't have much as far as paint application is concerned. Lots of nice molded details, but that's about it. This one looks really good. I love the feathers. As I said before, I think those look great. Now, articulation... The wings can flap. They can move all the way around. They're on ball joints. I just wish there was a section that flipped out to make the wings a little longer, like the G1 version has this little section here that flips out. But it is what it is. So there we have Squawk Talk in bird mode. And now let's get these two in their combined form of chatter or squawk box. Now you'll notice I've already taken the weapons off because what you're going to do is combine these. You've got beast box weapons right here and squawk talks. And all you do is take squawk talks blaster and just plug into the back of beast box forming one larger gun. So go ahead and do that for both weapon sets. And now we'll just put those to the side. We'll go ahead and grab Beast Box right here. And of course we got the robot head there. What you're gonna do is go ahead and turn this around. So this section right here with the two, two spools is gonna be Squawk Box's chest. Now you're gonna rotate the shoulders around and see it's on this little hinge right here. This section right here, that's what you wanna make sure it rotates around. That's gonna bring the shoulders up more in, more in proportion with the larger robot. And that's pretty much it. Well, nope, fold this back. Fold the gorilla head back. So now you've got the gorilla head on the back of Chatter here, like a gorilla face backpack. So there is the upper body of Squawk Box. Now for the legs, go ahead and fold the bird head back up. And you're going to bring the wings down. These are going to form the legs. What you want to do is make sure you get these turned around just right. So you have the knee bend in the right spot. So you got the knee bend here in the front. Go ahead and rotate the feet around. So there you have Chatter's legs. I just keep alternating Chatter, Squawk Box. Now you've got these little pegs right here that you're going to line up on the purple section. Squeeze them in, slide them together. And there is Chatter in robot mode. And now we've got the blasters. Let me see how these peg in. These might be a little easier. Adjust these to where the fins are facing out. And then the blaster is going to peg right there on the upper arm, kind of like a null ray. We'll go ahead and do that on the other side. Get that spun around. And... There we go, and that looks really cool. I dig it. Very faithful to the G1 toy. Love the face sculpt. Face sculpt looks great. Great paint applications. Articulation, let's see. The head can turn, but it's, it's got the legs attached. Now, let's see. Maybe you can bring the legs in and around like so. 
that really doesn't do much. So you're kind of stuck with the gorilla legs hanging off the back of the head. But hey, when he's on display, you're really not going to notice. And that's very faithful to the original G1 toy. The arms can do a complete 360 all the way around. And of course, there is the elbow bend, the exact same articulation that the gorilla had, the legs in and out, back and forward if you move the skirt up out of the way. Plus there is a knee bend and ankle rotation. And is there an ankle tilt? No ankle tilt, but still lots of articulation for this little guy. And now here is Dr. Wu's Squawk Box with G1 Squawk Box, one of the oddest looking G1 Transformers. But man, he's got some weaponry. Very faithful little bot. I dig it. I really, really like this. So there you go, guys. There is Dr. Wu's Chatter. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Dr. Wu's DWP51 Chatter with Siege, Rumble, and Frenzy, Siege, Wing Thing, and Ratbat, Siege, Ravage, and Laserbeak, and Dr. Wu's Ground and Sky Drones. The Dr. Wu DWP51 Chatter Set is a great addition to your Soundwave minions. This is a very solid third-party figure. Of course, every figure I've ever got from Dr. Wu's is top-notch, and I couldn't be happier. I especially love how close he mimics the original Generation 1's toys, function, and look. Plus, you can't go wrong with more Soundwave minions. And trust me, you can never have enough of those. So there you go, guys. Dr. Wu's DWP51 Chatter. So, does a Dr. Wu P-51 Chatter belong in your collection? Absolutely. This is a great little figure. It is very well built, great plastic quality, and I couldn't be happier. Plus, he's a bargain for only $24.99, and that's what he's going for right now on Big Bad Toy Store. He's still in stock. Pick one up. If you want some extra Soundwave minions, you can't go wrong with this guy, plus he's a great throwback to that original Generation 1 oddball. But just be warned, these blasted weapons are super tiny, and I'm scared to death I'm going to lose one. I'm going to thicken up the tips of the Squawk Talk Blaster, just so they fit on here a little better, because as you can see, that slides off really easy, and I really don't want to lose that. So yeah, pick one of these up you are not going to be disappointed. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I also have a Patreon page. And guys, we're getting closer and closer to my goal of 10,000 subscribers by TFCon in October. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, Signing out. Hoo-ah!